Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding a drive shaft for a 2005 Audi S4. That's the B6 chassis. The same video should apply for pretty much all of the um, vehicles in that lineup. A4, S4, it doesn't really matter. The parts are not available from the dealership, so I got those from O34 Motorsport. I'll put the link below. We're going to be doing the center bearing, which as you can see is in a rough condition. So we're going to be replacing the center bearing and the two boots on each side, which are torn. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out because honestly, it's going to make my life a little bit easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out so I can move it out of the way if I can. Now I can move the shell out of the way so I can work on the shafts. As always, when we work on a drive shaft, what you want to do is you want to mark this up. This is a balanced unit, so when it comes back to get it, it needs to come back in the exact same spot that it was, or you risk having this misaligned and introducing some vibration into your drivetrain. So let's mark it up now before we start taking it apart. With the drive shaft mark, what we're gonna do is remove this cover by prying the edge here, push it out of the way so that we can access the lock ring, which is holding the two halves of the drive shaft together. Then we can separate the drive shafts and then we can deal with the bearing side. Obviously, very, very careful. You don't wanna break anything. There's an O-ring sealing the inside of the CV here on the inside. So just be careful not to tear that off. You'll be good to go. We try to get the lock ring, which is right in there. And of course, this camera is not going to focus very well, so you can see it. I'll try and post uh, some footage from the other camera. Um, you cannot access it without really breaking the uh, bearing apart, because the thing is, this cap is just too restrictive. If you don't have any space, you can't see what you're doing. Once you break the bearing out, you can push the cover all the way to the back, which gives you a little bit more room to actually see the lock ring in there. And now it's just a matter of splitting it open and pulling the shaft out. Now, the thing is, it's not very easy to pull the shaft even with the ring open. So what I'm gonna try and do is open it and we're gonna try and pull the two shafts apart. Always, always, always remember, mark the shafts the way they're supposed to come back in, okay? Do not forget to do that before you open the ring. You can screw up your balance.
here you can get a better view of that lock ring. Honestly, we tried for quite a bit of time to try and get pliers from here to open it up, but it doesn't really work. So once you take the bearing, the old bearing out, accessing this is actually very straightforward. You just pull it apart with two um, little pick tools and you're good to go. We're not really touching this. We're just gonna replace the bearing on the other side and just put it right back together. All right, now we gotta take the shield and the rubber out, ideally without tearing it off. Here it is, nice and easy. We don't wanna lose the marks. Okay, we can clean that up a little bit after. Got a bit of a tear here, but we don't have this as a spare part, so I'm just gonna have to be what it is. This has to go in front of the bearing, so we have to pull this back out. Try to be careful not to screw up the direction of the bearing. So keep an eye on the way it's coming out, like that. So the next one has to go in the same way. To replace the cap here with the boot, the two sides are gonna be relatively easy. We have a lock ring on the front. The whole assembly is gonna come out. Obviously, once again, mark the position of how it's supposed to go back in. So the center bearing is gonna come out. We're gonna replace the boot and then we're gonna put the bearing back in. Try to keep the CV together so you don't have to deal with the balls coming out after. I'm gonna retain this gasket on the back. The two they're providing with the kit are paper. This one seems like in a good condition, so I'm gonna use this one as well. Lock ring. Exact same process on the other side.
that's it make sure that the lock ring has engaged the shaft cannot come back out and now we just got to close this up remember you have the o-ring here so just be careful not to tear it off Now this last part is slightly optional. I like to put some gasket maker on top just to seal the surface. Obviously this is never gonna be back the same way that it was when it came out of the factory. So it's not a bad idea to just kind of seal this up so you don't get moisture inside of the CV joint. That's it for this one guys honestly the hardest job of this whole thing was trying to release the lock ring here as you saw cutting out the old bearing gives you a little bit more room to move the boot here so you actually see the lock ring and can you figure out how to pull it out i used two little thin picks to separate it um i tried with pliers it didn't really work all that well but once that's done the rest is really really straightforward as per any 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 other bearing on any other cv joint mark 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 you will never go wrong by marking as much as you can these things are balanced you do not want to go off balance and introduce some sort of vibration i replaced the front and the back boots as well with the o34 motorsport kit and to be honest with you i'm pretty happy with it everything was included uh, i didn't really have any major issues it would be nice if they had some instructions on how to deal with this stuff but now that i've done it it's really not that hard all we know if you're not going to waste the time to try and do this lock ring, you can probably get this job done in a couple of hours max. No special tools really required. And you can get the car back up and running fairly straightforward. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to try and answer them as much as I can. And I'll see you guys next time.